Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022. That's a lot of twos in a date. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a first quarter moon, February 8th, Tuesday, next week, right before we record again. Of course, today is Groundhog Day and my son's birthday. And uh, according to news reports, the shadow was seen, which by this lore says six more weeks of winter. Uh, yeah, well, I think statistically the groundhog has done better than a random forecast. So, and what six more weeks of winter really means is not well defined. So, yeah, the meteorologist here is going to poo poo Puxatani Phil. Sorry about that. I did grow up in Phoenix and we had Sidewinder Sam, the rattlesnake. And if Sidewinder Sam saw his shadow, then summer starts immediately. If he didn't uh, see a shadow, it would be summer immediately. Of course, how much of a shadow is under a snake? Looking at drought conditions. We have last week, again, this nice snowpack sitting up here. That's going to start melting in a few months, and we'll get even more relief on the plains. The only thing to get... Uh, a little worse was down here in the southeast corner. Nothing else changed, but with this current storm that's pulling out as I record, uh, we should see a lot more relief on the plains and I-25 front range areas. Nationally, not much changes. A little worsening of the drought in northern New Mexico near that corner of Colorado, but not much else changing. Looking at snow, I did not get a new snow report, so you can watch over the past month or so. Uh, it's still above normal. We will have to see when the next report comes out. Looking at the snowfall, this is a snowstorm that hit on Wednesday, uh, Tuesday into Wednesday of this week, and Longmont area has a peak report of nine inches. Most folks are in the upper six, upper seven area. My station here is 7.3, a little lighter area out here. Uh, near Boulder, it's all 9.2, 9.5. There's 11, I think, in there. Maybe a 12. It's hard to kind of see the numbers all on top of each other. So 13 plus above Boulder here. And down in Broomfield, some 6s, 7s, and 8s. So it was a healthy storm. We probably picked up another inch, inch, inch and a half, maybe a local 2 inches uh, on Wednesday, uh, adding to this. With the temperatures down near 10 all day long, not far from it, and going down to the negative uh, digits. The, every little teeny bit of snow just helped add up. So precipitation, this does include uh, liquid from Tuesday night because this is as of 7 a.m. Valid, yeah. Uh, so last seven days the front range here did the best. It wasn't much of a storm up in the mountains and I kind of called that with Boulder not getting, um, sorry, Estes Park not getting much and they really did only get a two to four inches. So on Wednesday here, this massive storm system is dominating the nation with snow all the way up to Canada, back up to us and into northern Arizona mountains. We have a big swath of ice going through north Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and up into the Ohio Valley. And when we go to the severe weather, you can see the severe weather on the warm side of that front just inching along, marginal risk in the southeast. In, in down further into the southeast as that storm oozes along. We'll watch the cold air spread out too in the animation shortly. So normal high temperature is 45, normal low climbing from 17 to 19 degrees Fahrenheit. You see the extreme cold that we're getting on Wednesday and Thursday and then we start to come out for the weekend and stay right in the normal window for once. Uh, here's our precipitation ending on Wednesday. We have a little something on the 7th little something on the 9th to the 10th, but the models don't see a strong storm signal yet. The next strong signal is actually beyond that. We have a trough coming next Sunday, so this is a week and a half away uh, That would, with a little trough embedded in here. There's not much of a ridge nationwide. There's a giant ridge up here off the map and one out in the Atlantic, so it's a weird pattern uh, with really a lot of north winds pouring down back here. So that will be scooped into uh, next week's uh, video much better. But the snow with that one kind of looks like this. Definitely some upslope here with a low in the four corners area. And so let's go to the next 10 days. This won't go as far as that storm. So here goes that trough. 
um, moving out uh, east of the state because of the north winds we do stay cool another trough zips by to the north on the weekend <clears throat> this one digs down but it doesn't seem to interact with any moisture so maybe that's what we see on the um, 8th 9th as a possibility yeah, there's another one zipping by too. So we just kind of keep with this big north northwest flow uh, over the next week. Here's our cold air spreading down. Just sharp, sharp cold front. Look at that extreme purple here. This is 20 degrees below normal in Texas. And away it goes. Here's our snowpack in the mountains keeping the air cool. On the plains, we do start to warm up as that um, uh, melts away. You can see the cold air kind of gets entrenched down here. Lots of warm air in the west and the uh, great northern Great Plains and the uh, Great Lakes. And then this next front comes in. It's February 11th, blasting down, but its aim is much further to the east coast like that. Here goes our storm leaving. You can see the ice in Texas and uh, into the southeast. And then some severe weather ahead of that. And I'm going to cut this short because nothing really affects Colorado over the next week. It's just very quiet. Over the next five days, this is a, the moisture from the departing storm. It's just when I had to pull the map. Same thing with the snow. It's still overnight. Uh, Wednesday, we'll be getting some more snow down here in the southern mountains. The next 10 days, hardly changes at all. A little bit more snow in the mountains, but not much at all. So we just warm up from here, starting in the negative uh, digits Wednesday into Thursday, single digits Thursday into Friday, and daytime temperatures finally getting to the 40s, cool down with that passing trough on Sunday, and then uh, normal temperatures next week, pretty much dry all the way through, at least for the lower plains. So for frequent weather updates, local news, check out longmountleader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.